Hello, today I'm going to go over coral bleaching lecture. So coral bleaching is a certain phenomenon that we've seen more and more over the last several years. And there is a link here with climate change. So a nice healthy reef has all of these different colors. The corals are a lot of different colors. Um, some of the colors that you're going to see are kind of like a dull green. So coral reefs can be found near the surface of the oceans. Healthy corals have a green color, among others, because symbiotic algae or algae live inside of them. So the corals are these, the, you see as these big, hard, um, almost like rock type formations. But then there's these little soft coral polyps that live in them. Inside the polyps are algae. So two living organisms living together. Uh, the algae go through photosynthesis, making sugars, which are shared with the coral. The coral provides protection and a safe place for the algae. So this is mutually beneficial. The algae make food for the corals to eat, and the corals give it a safe place to live, the algae. All right. So that's normal conditions. Now, we've talked about climate change and the atmosphere heating up, but what we don't talk about as often is the fact that the oceans are also heating up, and this is going to cause problems. Human-caused global warming is warming the atmosphere, but is also warming the oceans. Warmer temperatures stress the coral. So as the, as the temperature goes up in the ocean, the coral, the polyps, start to get stressed out. And there's an interaction that happens when they get stressed out. When ocean temperatures rise, the coral gets stressed and expel the algae, one of their primary food sources. So because of some things that are happening with the algae and the coral, as water temperature goes up, the coral polyps, they kind of freak out. And what they do is, um, because they're trying to protect themselves, they expel this algae. But ultimately, this is bad. So um, they go from this nice color to a white color. This is a coral that has been bleached. And when we say bleached, we just mean that it's lost its uh, symbiotic algae. Coral that loses its algae is white in appearance. We call this coral bleached. However, the coral is not dead. So it looks like a skeleton. It's not. The coral uh, polyps are still there, the little organisms that make up this um, large coral structure. Um, but they don't have that symbiotic algae that helps them to survive. Uh, and in this picture, what you'll see, what you're looking at is the same coral that we've seen before, but it has all of this like thick plant-like algae growing over the surface. This is bad. Bleached algae is weaker and less likely to survive competition. Turf algae, which we see here, this is the, turf algae is this like green and brown algae that grows on top of the coral structure. Turf algae can grow on coral and ultimately kill the coral underneath. Um, so this is just the very basics of coral bleaching. The thing about this is coral reefs, you have to think about them like rainforests. They are a small portion of the ocean, but they hold a huge amount of the diversity of life in the ocean. So as they die, we lose a lot of the diversity that would be found in the oceans. Okay, thank you very much.